So today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite solo players. Um, ever since I watched him do the solo incursion for the very first time, he did it in sections. I have been a big fan. And I'll tell you, I was actually browsing through um, YouTube and this video got recommended and I hadn't seen it. So this is his most recent incursion run. I think it's the first time he was able to complete the incursion from start to finish without taking a break. I think the other times when he was the world's first for completing each section, he would do one section, take a break, come back to the next section, take a break, and he was completing each section in stages. Now for this one, he did it from start to finish. And what we're gonna do is we'll probably react all the way past the third boss. Once we get to the final boss, that's when I'll link you to go check out his video. In the description, it'll say video reacting to his video because this is a pretty long video and we're not going to react for the whole thing, but I think the three bosses will be good enough. Now, if you notice, he's currently, he's shooting, uh, he was shooting the oxidizer at the turrets and typically you see this in speed runs and, and that's how they do it and he's doing it solo and then I wonder if he's going to switch his build. Um, looks like he's going to cover to cover. Because I don't think he can kill things with this. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. So he, he had a, a. So what is he putting on? Oh, he's putting it on a hotshot build. With headhunter and vigilance. Let's see, you probably see hotshot. I'm um, headhunter proc once he gets a headshot. Oh, wow. There you go. You can see the headhunter already. So he had to switch to a sniper build so he could take these guys out. And he's literally just one-shotting them. GG's there. But if you saw at the very beginning, he was using the oxidizer. You see that? That's to disable the turrets. And then he could just stay back here, not worried about getting mortared or anything. And that's why he switched to the sniper build that he's able to one-shot. I think he, should be, he might be able to one-shot everything. Yeah. The one that might give him a little bit will be the tanker, right? Like the the big tanker that comes out, the cleaner. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens real quick. Wow, just easy. So he should be either on the left or right. Oh, there he is. Forty-six million, and then so it literally popped his he helmet, and it was it. GG's, good job right there. So I doubt he'll run this in the next part. Yeah, he's not going to. So he has a striker. Um, I saw the coyote mask um, in the top left when he clicked it. I'm assuming he's running the typical meta build, right? He might have the um, overlord knee pads. Right, he might have the Fox Perry knee pads, or he might have a Cheska knee pads or Cheska holster. But he's definitely. I saw the. I I saw the mask and I saw the chest in back. I believe he actually has his full builds that he used for this in a separate video on his channel. So if you click the link and you go over there, you can actually watch it. So this is gonna be one of the more trickier areas, just because there's so many enemies. So many things can go wrong, um, and it's a big, big area that you have to protect this. So it looks like he destroys all of the tanks, right? So that fire is not going to explode. I've, I've died so many times with that where, like, I'm fighting, and either an enemy shoots it, or I accidentally shoot it, or a teammate shoots it, and then you go on fire, boom, and your run's all over. So he throws out his turret. He's running a decoy and a turret. You could already see like the the coyote mask, right? You see the little symbol. He's running the Saint Elmo's, one of the most popular ARs in the game. Nice seventy round magazine. Plus, it has the shock bullets after you you do the stack. And even with him having the chest and bag on the strikers, he's already a half stack. The good thing about the incursion, I'll tell you, is they are very tanky. So if you do run something like a striker chest, striker bag, you're going to have max stacks pretty quick, pretty easy. 
Now, I don't think he's running the Scorpio. But we'll see pretty quick. Because that doesn't look like it. I was, like, looking at it earlier. No, no. That looks like maybe the mop. Or the name. It's probably the mop, though. Look, look at his stacks on the striker. You see that? Can, can we all say did, how much effort and time this actually takes? Like, to know this is the spot that you can sit right back here, right? You know how many times he would have to do that to say, okay, this is the best spot for solo players. And still be able to drop those heavy tankers. Still be able to drop the snipers. Because, you know, those are the ones that start chunking away where it's the oil tanker, right? And you can see his armor come back. So he has the gunner class. First off, you see the the special the specialization weapon on the left of him, right? And then you see he gets even more armor on kill when he... Gets a kill. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice chunk. So he keeps this one alive. Why is that? Oh, place his turret. You see, like, practicing this over and over allows him to learn exactly where he needs to place the turret as a solo player. Because this is totally different than when you're playing it with a four-man team and you're just beaming everything, right? This is like, take some work, take some time. Oh. Yeah, but he, got, he had that armor on kill. Boom. Now he's got to shred those. But he's really precise on where he wants to be when he starts every encounter. Where he wants to place his place his turret, right? Like before he starts each encounter, he already has a spot that he wants to be at, right? He wants to be in this corner over here. I wonder how he's going to handle the 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 drones. You know, there's four. The love drones, we like to call them. Is this over here? Yeah, easy. All right, so he's a big boy here. So the drones should be coming out after this wave. So I think he has three more. Boom, easy. Yo, he's weak points too. You see how he knows he aims for the weak points right away? Weak points are so crucial in this. For you new player newer players maybe returning players who forgot like some of the hardest enemies have weak points that make them feel like they're super easy and if you can figure out which ones they are or where they are helps out so much and he just has one sniper up here he's got a shield guy chasing him i've died a few times to those little rc cars that the snipers drop all right Holy, he has four of them. I didn't even know there was that many. And then he he seems to always leave one so he can get back in this corner. He gets ammo. Oh, no, drones are next after this. This is the fire one, right? So I think there's only two of these. I thought there was another one. Oh, yeah, there's, so there's three. Here's that weak point. Ooh. Oh, no, another one. I knew there was more. Nice. 
now it's the drones. I heard it were road striker drones. I want to see how he plays this. So he puts his, oh, he goes to this corner. I've seen this before. Um, I think he might have, was he the one that did this method? I think he did this method in one of his videos way back. Oh, it's, they're called bird. Sorry, not love. Well, love bird. <laughs> yeah, but if you if you look at the name of the drones, they spell out B I R D bird. You know, the love birds are the final bosses. Nice. You got that one. There goes the R D. And this is the last one. To me, I feel like these drones are the are the ones that you have to worry about the most. But look how fast he's able to shred these by himself. Nice. Ooh. Get the sniper up here. Just finish him off. Uh, yeah, that was a smart move. Get that armor on kill. All right, so he has one left. So he placed the drone, and then I guess he just the guy's still chasing him, and he goes back to his spot. He hundred percent makes sure that he's in his spot or in his area, right? Every round he starts him in the same spot. Hits the weak point, boom. Weak point right here, boom. Hit that weak point, and they are done. Then he has, what, one sniper here, two up top. Yo, he only has, like, 25%, but that might be the final wave, right? Yep, GG's, man. He's doing so good. I think he only had once where he lost a little bit of life, but he made it seem easy. Let's see how fast he does this. Oh, wow, over. He's hitting him in that weak point. That's it. Finish this one. And now he just has to go to the next boss is the tough one. I right, so he has his little his big boy shield. He has looks like he still has the mop or maybe the six twelve shotgun. And then he had I think this he has the per the the rifle that gives you perfect. Get it, get it. Nice. Yeah. So he's, he's using the busy little bee. So he definitely isn't doing the one shot because he doesn't have... I think they switched that. I, I think they changed it, but he's still using the busy little bee. So I wonder how it's going to work with how he's going to set it up. And it looks like he's just going to be having the stack ready for when he goes into the next round. Did he get this one? Yeah. Let me finish that. Easy. So he has um, Adrenaline Rush and he has Intimidate on this build. And then you put a... Uh, Disruptor, so he has 
the bloody knuckle gloves. Hmm. He has um, improvised holster. I'm assuming I saw a lot of blue mods, so protection from elites. And he also had the Gilligard mask, which gives you armor, and then you could put two mod slots. He also has survivalists. So that's going to give um, that extra protection from elites. All right, let's see what he does. This one is definitely one of the harder ones to do. Obviously, the final boss, just because the mechanics is very hard for a solo player, but I've seen teams struggle on this versus struggle on the last boss. But obviously, the last boss, just it's, it's very time-consuming. Yo, I think that's the first time I've seen something like that. You saw what he did? So he threw a nade. He had shot the stun by where he pulls the trigger. Not pulls the trigger, pulls the lever. And if you know, the lever mechanic's very slow. Like, it just, that's how it works. But if you get stunned, you end up falling off of it. It's just, that's how it works. Like, like, like if, you, if you're just running and something stuns you... What he does is, as soon as he pushes it, it's always automatic. It's right away. As soon as you do this, but when he pushes it, right after he hits it, it bumps him off. So he's able to do that right away. That's actually really smart. I never thought of that. So look, look. He throws the nade. As soon as he pulls it, boom. Because the, tw the twist is it automatic. It's just the delay, like you're holding it for a very long time. Like the water comes down, but that allows him to get off real quick and still shoot him. Without him like coming up and meleeing him and you know, doing what he needs to do. So he's just right here now, he's just, this looks like a tank. He's barely taking any damage. All those guys are shooting him. That protection from elites. With the adrenaline rush, it's hard for them to get through. And then this allows him to stack up that busy little B, and then he uses it, is it on his... Oh, was that what he was trying to do? Oh, no, it's over here. You see that? It's actually pretty good. It's such a smart move. Because he's able to use that busy little B, then he can build a stack up. that right corner he knows exact oh he missed that one but you see like that stun even if he messes up it keeps him alive uh he's waiting that what was that 94 so he knows he already has almost a full stack of busy little b i think he has everybody with busy the, the talent so there he goes but you see how he takes no damage? That's so cool. Now he's going to set him up. He, he takes out a huge chunk of them. He can almost hit, do each wave. On one go. If he gets enough shots. If he's not getting like stunned or hit. doing so good the patience the time the effort you have to put in this i honestly don't think i have the patience to do this 
but it's it's so cool to see. Oh, so he pulls out the other gun. Oh, damn, that thing was hitting. I'm pretty sure that's the stage left for Sledge, no? Oh, maybe not. Because I haven't seen Sledge go off. So I may be wrong. Yeah, I haven't seen him go off. So maybe it just has a damage talent on it. So he, you see how he gets him right here in the front? He knows exactly what he needs to do. So I think he puts a decoy down for the NPCs more than anything. And that allows him just to focus on the boss. His Bloody Knuckles talent is Prox. I see that. Intimidates Prox, obviously, because of the Bolson armor. That kind of sucks. All right, so he should be able to get the next one. This is really just knowing your surroundings, knowing what each wave is, knowing how what you need to do. There you go, his busy little beast. Almost fully pro. Oh. Oh. Yo, he is just going for it. Didn't pop a med kit or anything. No, did he, oh the he got so lucky with the R. Oh, adrenaline and rush was so clutch there. No way. Wow. Dude, he dropped that big dude so quick. I wonder what, what the gun has. All right, so he's good here. He definitely only uses the middle, the left and right. He never uses the far back one because there's no way for him to pull that off. All right, so he has one fire nade. Uh oh, he's down on nades. So he drops his decoy, so all the enemies Come this way. Y'all, that's such a smart technique right there. That might be the first time I've seen that. Have you guys seen that before? I think he's over now. Yeah. Just got to get that little piece of armor off. That guy's not gonna be able to do nothing, just one guy. Yo, congratulations, yo, that's actually pretty good. And I just gotta finish off these guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What we're gonna do, this is probably where we're gonna stop. If you guys wanna see the final fight, it's about 25 minutes from this point. So it's, it's definitely uh, an intense battle. So if you guys wanna go see that part of the video, link is in the description. You guys can finish the whole thing there. Make sure you drop a like. Um, very, well, only a handful of players could actually pull this off, to be honest. And that's actually really cool to see how far players push their limits in the division. You know, some players think, man, there's no way a soul player ever do it. If there's a will, if there's a way, hey, someone's going to do it. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up here, man. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Hopefully, I see you guys in the next one. Hey, congratulations again, DJ. Hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.